All right, so here you have everything you need to uh, make your spin bike into a Zwift cycling machine so you can track everything you're doing on your spin bike with the uh, iPad mount and uh, Skosh uh, heart rate monitor. So let's get right into it right away. Uh, the uh, speed sensor, there's plenty of room on the Sunny bike front wheel to um, use a zip tie. Of course, the first time I put it on there, I pulled too hard on the zip tie. So, um, but the, uh, the speed sensor comes with a little, little, you can kind of see it right there, two little prongs that stick out and they're just big enough for the zip tie to go um, on. And because the Sunny bike has that nice big space between the center of the flywheel and the, the front fork, um, I was able to uh, put it on there, and it's not in the exact orientation that it would be in when you have when you have it on the hub of your bike, um, but it does seem to work pretty well. So. Um, try it. See what you think. So on to the cadence sensor, um, it actually also gets zip tied onto the pedal and these are two black zip ties that are supplied in the box when you buy the uh, cadence sensor from Wahoo. Um, so you just basically want to put that on the pedal and um, you know they're both activated by motion so the battery doesn't get used until they start sensing the motion and then they come on and then they start syncing up with whatever device you're, uh, you're working with them on. And uh, in a little while here, you're gonna see um, the full test of everything. Um, but basically, uh, you know, I got a used Sunny Spin Bike off of Craigslist for 50 bucks. Um, I bought uh, the Wahoo kit for speed and cadence and um, paired everything up with my iPad and the heart rate monitor and I'm basically doing what a $1,500 or $2,000 Peloton bike would do. Um, and I, I made a couple modifications to the Sunny bike which probably some people won't like. Um, here's the, uh, the mount for the iPad. Um, from a, above tech uh, pretty nice unit um, you can see here where you put it on it's kind of like um, a ratcheting mechanism to tighten it on 
and um, you see the sunny bike handlebars are sticking almost straight up that's because I pulled out the handlebar tube flipped it around uh, undid the two screws on the handlebars um, and put them in the other way flip the handlebars around and put them in the other way the only downside to that is that the handlebar tube uh, adjustment doesn't have um, where the uh, the little pin that holds it in place but because it's a, a screw that you can tighten um, it, it's pretty rigid and it stays in place pretty well um, and I just like the uh, more upright seating position he, here I am um, testing out the mount with my wife's iPhone um, eventually I'll put it put my iPad in there um, but anyway you can see from the side how high up those handlebars are so here's here's a shot basically right there is what I'm telling you so that that angle on that tube and see the holes are facing the rider those holes are supposed to be facing the front so essentially here you can kind of see what I'm talking about the adjustment knob on the handlebar support mechanism you just you know it, you just put it in and then you just crank down on it where normally that little pin would lock the handlebars in position but if you go ahead and just get it where you want it and then you can see me tighten it down right there just tighten it down and that suckers in there nice and rigid and what it does is it kind of it again it kind of mimics a peloton bike um, and even if you can't get a deal like I got on Craigslist for fifty dollars still a sunny bike is a is a lot cheaper um, and then there's my heart rate monitor and um, here's the final wrap up when I finally got it going on Zwift check it out and uh, thanks for watching happy riding